yes guys, this is the second part of the video and in this video I'm here to spread awareness about Sony. And it absolutely boils my blood knowing that there's people out there messing about with people's dreams and you know how passionate I am about football as a whole. And this just it boils my blood. It just it makes me so angry. But boy, what can I say? It's COVID right now, it's hard times and you've got bums out there that are scamming people for 200, 300, 400 pound, 500 pound, it is very, very low. But I'm here to spread awareness. And in today's video, well, in this video here, I'm going to be telling you about how me and my agent got scammed by, I don't know, I don't know who this guy is, but let's get started with the video. So a guy called Andre Ranky or Andre Rankin DM'd me. He's pretending to be someone abroad or he's pretending to be an agent or he's got an FA license or whatever he has in his bio. So here's the DM between me and Andre Ranky. He pops up to me and says, oh, how would you like to play abroad? Blah, 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 this, that, the other. I said to him, well, I've always considered playing abroad and I would like to play abroad. So if you could make that happen, try and make it happen. I said to him, well, I've got an agent. So he asked me about, he asked me for my agent's contact details so i gave him my agent's contact details to get in touch with him and he did so he also asked me before that what is your current situation in football i'm currently under contract at Dulwich hamlet but at the moment we're not playing no games so clearly i'm teamless because there's no games going on so i explained that situation to him so a couple of days later he got in contact with my agent my agent then got in contact with me and he called me and he said aj how would you like to go abroad? Like, would you like to go abroad? There's an opportunity there for you. I said, yes, I would like to go abroad. Like, I've always considered going abroad. So, I got invited to a group chat. My agent got invited to a group chat. And these people here are so organised. There was three people. Believe it or not, there was a Swedish number that was in the group chat. And I don't know how they done that. Obviously, it must not be hard. It must just be a chip that you put in a phone. Or, I don't know how it works, yeah? But there was a Swedish number in the chat and was pretending to be, I think it was like a second manager of the first team at a team called something Savo or something like that. Well, a Swedish team. It's going to be right there. Like, you can see all the messages. So the messages started by saying, um, hi, AJ, like introducing himself, blah, blah, blah. So obviously I, I introduced myself. My agent was speaking in the group chat. So they said that they wanted me to come over there for 11 days. So I was thinking, okay, like, yeah, this sounds cool. Like, so for a week and a half, two weeks, I was preparing constantly. Like, I was just training, coming in, strict diet, as I always do, eating, training, like, no socials, just making sure I prepare properly for this so-called trial that I had abroad. So while I'm preparing, there's no YouTube, my social media is going dead because I'm not really posting because I'm just trying to focus and you get me? They're basically selling me dreams. So, um, what happened? So this is the whole chat. Like I've put all the screenshots here. So it basically goes on to when my flight's going to be booked, the accommodation. So this is where the scamming actually comes into place. So they book my flight. I think it was for the 6th or the 7th. I don't really know what specific day because I can't see right now because I'm really recording off my phone. So they book my flight. They then say, we have someone. We have a basically a digs, a digs place where, I, where I'd had to pay for because obviously I'm going on trial. Well, I'm supposedly going on trial. So they say that we have to pay £506. I don't know how much that is in Swedish money. It says right there. Um say we have to pay 506 pounds so my agent goes ahead with the process and he pays that 506 pounds thinking that that 506 pounds going to cover me my accommodation my food for 11 days if you think about 506 pound 506 pound for 11 days is basically 40 pound a day so it sounds realistic to a certain extent like it, if you're going to live with someone and you're getting two meals a day and you're going to a country like Sweden or you're going to another country and they're not as they're not that expensive, you'd think £40 a day is reasonable. So it sounded realistic. So at this point, the £506 been paid. Yeah, my agent paid the £506. The person comes back and says, oh, um, something about the transaction. Oh, uh, the transaction hasn't come through. Is the transactions instant? 
my agent sent them the online banking of him transferring it straight into their account which bearing in mind this account is a swedish account it's not it's not an english account so obviously they they've been very organized how they're going to scam people so it's a swedish account um what happened it's a swedish account yeah so the money's been transferred straight in so what they, what my agent said is well the payments go through instantly so how comes the payment hasn't come through i've just shown you a screenshot on my on that banking blah 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 they said okay cool we'll give it a couple of days um we'll give it two days or a day hopefully it will be there so everything's being organized i think that i'm going on this trial for a championship in sweden and they basically say in the group chat they're like oh well there's another goalkeeper coming to trial with you maybe you could meet up with him in the airport so i'm like okay cool it, oh that's that's nice like all right cool all right so they say a goalkeeper's trialing with me, but this is where it's clicked in. So I've said to them, okay, cool. If a goalkeeper's coming with me, like, can I get his, can I get his contact details? Can I get his phone number? Because I'll be at the airport and we can, board the, we can board the same flight. So I said, oh, what's his phone number? So they sent the phone number to the group chat, yeah? But these times it's too late. It's too late. My agent's already sent the money. It's too late. Like, it's too late. It's been scammed. Like, we've been scammed. It's, it's too late. So they sent the picture. Bruv. The DP is a picture of an Arsenal football player, a Bamiyang. I think it was a Bamiyang or some Arsenal football player. Tell me, like, nine times out of ten, if you're going to get someone's, like, phone number or something like that and you look at their WhatsApp picture, it's actually going to, and their footballer, it's either going to be a picture of them, it's going to be a picture of their family member, or it's going to be a picture of, I don't know, but it's not going to be a football player. So that's where it clicked in my head. Then I rang the number. This is what it said. Welcome to Leica Mobiles. This kind of blah, blah, blah. So it went to voicemail. So I was thinking, what football player is going to be using Leica? Like, are you a trapper or something? Like, really? Are you really going to use Leica? Like, if you've got iPhone, no one really uses Leica, innit? That's where it clicked in. So I, so I messaged my agent. I said, oh, I can't lie. I've got a funny feeling about this one. It was like, yeah. It was like, yeah, I do too. So imagine this Andre Rankins guy who says that he's a qualified FA, whoever the hell he is has said to my agent, okay, cool, don't worry, I'm going to cover all the costs, I'm going to pay. So basically, forget about that, my agent lost five bills, like, he lost five bills, like, he just lost five bills. This guy basically said to my agent, I will pay it, knowing that he's lost the five bills, so my agent's like, he's called me, he said, yeah, he said that he's going to pay the five bills now, blah, 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 blah. So, I think Tommy is the assistant manager of the team or supposed to be the team so there's so many people unless there's one guy controlling like three phones at the same time i don't know but so next thing now that flight don't even exist the first flight that got sent to the gc they're saying i have to go to france i have to fly to france then i have to get off at of france and then i have to go from france to sweden i'm thinking oh my god these times i got bro bro i got my bag packed like if i could show you my guy Borrowed me his mini suitcase. My guy borrowed me his mini suitcase to go. Like, bro, he borrowed me the suitcase. So, I'm here packing now. I'm here packing. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, raw, like, like, is this really true? So my agent messaged me. He said, it's a scam. I just sat there like that, like, no, you're lying. Like, you must be lying. Like, it's, it can't be a scam. Like, you're lying. So, this whole time when I haven't been making no YouTube videos, I haven't been doing, like, I haven't been as active. I haven't been doing anything because I've been preparing to go on this trial for this championship club that's in Sweden. There's no trial. The whole time, there's no trial. Like, deep it. There's no trial. Like, I'm just thinking to myself, wow. Like, how the Why would people be so low? Imagine how many kids out there they've been doing this to Imagine that, 500 pound there, 500 pound there, 500 pound. Bearing in mind, I should have known, this Andre, when, I, when we got scammed, I looked at this guy's account, I went on his followers, and I looked at it, and I was thinking, this guy, he's bought followers somehow. Every every person that I click on, uh, they're, they're following like a thousand people, and they're getting followed by like 20 people, so clearly he's bought followers. So, it's like, in my head, I just don't understand why you would mess with people's dreams like that. Like, 
There's little kids out there. There's probably 15, 16 year old kids that can't even afford 500 or 400 or 300 pounds and you're scamming them. You're scamming them. It's not even like you're getting them the flight and you're getting them the trial. You're actually scamming people. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what are you actually doing? So, this video today was just to spread awareness about people on Instagram claiming that they're scouts. And they're very well organised because I can't lie, even I fell for it. And I, I know these things because obviously, I just know these things. Like, I should know these things anyways because there's so many things that's gone on through it throughout my life. And I've, I think I've, I haven't been scammed before, but I, I could, there's so many things on like Snapchat or yeah, people that do baskets on Snapchat, people that do this, people that do that. So it's very easy to find out. But these people here were very organised. They had a they had a number that was Swedish. They had a bank account that was Swedish. Like they had they had people that would say like they would they, they would say oh yeah we've sent them on trial go and ask him and there would be people that'd be like yeah. But then there is a boy that was called I don't want to say his name. I will blur it out, but. They said that they sent him on trial. I ended up DMing him, and then he said to me, "Oh, they tried to, they tried to scam me, or they tried to, um, they was gonna send me on trial, but I didn't go because I knew it was a scam." But by then it was too late. The money had been sent. Obviously, it's sent to a Swedish bank account, so they know what they're doing. It's gonna be proper, proper hard to get the money back. But yeah, so in today's video, I just wanted to raise awareness, and oh, uh, it just it absolutely just, I was absolutely headless. These last few days I've been headless, like, I've been preparing so well to go on trial, but yeah. So yes, guys, that's the video I've done there. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this spreads awareness. I hope none of you get scammed because it's upsetting. And especially someone messing about with your dream. And expect You lot know how passionate I am about football, so it's crazy, like. But yeah, man, it, it is what it is. It happens. Obviously, we'll bounce back. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video helps you out a lot. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, my blood's absolutely boiling. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll make sure there's more videos for you coming soon. Peace. Made me 55 grand all day trying to double up. Let them hate his hate, now we ain't the same, get your money up. Mine have been that ease. This is a disease that's a full